Alrighty boys, welcome back once again to another video. How you guys doing? Guys, today I have for you all an everything you need to know update video for Fortnite Save the World, and the update that we need to know everything about is going to be version 12.40. I'm going to try to not waste your guys' time as there's quite a lot of interesting things to go over in today's video. I just do want to mention that I haven't uploaded in almost two weeks, and it feels really good getting yet another video out here on the main channel. Before we do jump into it though, quick shout out to Homebase Serenity for going completely crazy using my code at gfuel.com. All the money goes to charity, and I freaking appreciate your face, man. Thank you so much for the big order, but without further ado, let's jump into the video. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's just go ahead and jump into the news for this video. Now, the main source of news for this video specifically is actually going to be coming from the home base status report, as there really wasn't much going on in terms of the leaking world for Save the World, just nothing too much in the game files that was really added, so not really anything to go over as far as leaks are concerned. However, the home base status support that we're going to be going over in today's video is very much different than any of the ones that have come out previously as it contains a few tidbits of information that we're not necessarily used to seeing so without further ado let's just go ahead and jump into it the home base status support of april 15th by the fortnite team so they start off by saying all hands all hands the giant comet has returned and we need your help commanders home base status report initiate the blockbuster quest line returns ray has gone missing investigate the comet and gear up to recruit a team of superheroes Find Ray and bring her back home, complete the blockbuster questline to unlock the mythic soldier Carbide and the mythic ninja cloak star. They say note, due to the certain circumstances and the safety of the voice actors, new narrative events will be delayed for the time being. So there's two different things that they're saying here. First off, the blockbuster event from season 4 is making its way back into the game and the reasoning for this is kind of due to the whole COVID-19 situation and they don't exactly want to have voice actors inside of a studio being next to each other, social distancing seeing all that other kind of stuff. So the actual blockbuster quest line that they did bring back uh, was a pretty good choice of quest lines as like I said it was out during season four which was really the peak of battle royale so not really many people got to actually play you know save the world during that time most people were playing battle royale. I however quit battle royale around season three so season four was whenever I personally really started grinding save the world so this blockbuster quest line is gonna do absolutely nothing for me as a player. I have noticed desire to do it it gives me no rewards that I really need and pretty much for most in-game players that's going to be the general reaction however this is a great quest line for them to bring to the game for a lot of the newer players out there although the rewards are still just kind of eh carbide's great for dungeons cloak star not necessarily and of course you know they did talk about the certain circumstances no new quest lines would be coming for the time being and that's pretty much understandable we're kind of in a pandemic here and this is one of the things that I really wanted to mention as I'm very glad that Epic Games is being upfront about this and actually giving us communication on what's going on behind the scenes and this is something that the save the world team or the save the world community that is has been lacking for a very long time and that is actual communication on what's going on behind the scenes although it's very un you know unfortunate circumstance i'm actually very glad that they actually came out and said this just to let us know what's going on now with the return of the blockbuster quest line of course we will have the return of a new enemy type and for those of you guys that don't know what i'm talking about i'm talking about the chrome huskies now the chrome huskies are basically an enemy type that you have to kill multiple times before they actually die like you could shoot them a bunch they would fall on the ground and die and then they would get back up the easiest way to kill these guys is by using water to corrode away the metal so then you can actually kill the husks themselves these were only present during blockbuster and i imagine they're definitely going to be back as i believe they are involved in some of the quest lines now moving on from that of course we have carbide returning within this actual quest line he's going to have zip and zap and he also has the underdog team perk team perk is absolutely garbage However, the Zip and Zap is perfect for the Grotto Dungeon, and I made a whole video about this last week. You guys definitely should check that out. Moving on from this, we have Cloak Star. He has the Fan of Stars perk and the Round Trip Team perk. Overall, Cloak Star is more of a fun hero rather than a meta hero, so definitely don't pick him up and expect to do crazy things. However, he is definitely really fun, but just compared to other ninjas, you probably don't want to use him overall. Now, moving on from this, we actually have a pretty big piece of information, and that is Hoverboard Wraps. Don't forget to wrap your your hoverboard before embarking on your mission because hoverboard wraps are now in style and this this last part that they have here is very interesting it says note melee weapon wraps in the cosmetic item shop are on hold indefinitely as the team focuses on a new major feature now the gameplay in the background i'm just going to throw up a little bit of me scrolling through some of the hoverboard wraps to give you an idea on how they look but this last thing is something that i really want to talk about yet again something that the home base status reports don't ever really have is actual dev communication uh 
uh, from them to us. Normally, home-based status reports are just giving us a general briefing on what's going on and, you know, stuff that's getting added. However, this is a developer note, just like the previous one about the COVID-19 situation, where they're telling us that Melee wraps in the cosmetic item shop are going to be on hold as the team focuses on a new major feature. Now, what could that major feature be? I have absolutely no idea. Um, really, I, I honestly don't. I guess the only thing that I could possibly guess is maybe converting some of the Save the World heroes to being skins and then allowing them to be purchasable in the Save the World item shop. For example, Azalea Clark being a commander and then them converting her to a skin who is then purchasable in the Save the World item shop whenever they do bring it and then being usable across all game modes. Because Azalea Clark is a very similar body type to the ninja body type and as we all know there is a ninja skin in battle royale you know with the same body type i believe his name is cloak shadow and so you know this is definitely something that we could see the save the world characters do share body types that are already in battle royale so it wouldn't be anything out of the ordinary that is the only guess that i have as to why they could be delaying the melee weapon wraps in the cosmetic item shop me personally i don't really care too too much about this they say that they're focusing on a major new feature obviously it's more important than either of those things that were just mentioned so we'll just have to wait and see what exactly they're going to be bringing now moving on from that we have dashing hair ken and he's going to be appearing in the event store uh for april 17th at 8 p.m eastern time and this guy is a very good kunai ninja uh you should definitely pick him up if you don't have him he throws down explosive eggs whenever he kunais and he is a perfect kunai ninja to having your support Moving on from this, we have the Easter Egg Launcher that will also be joining Dashing Hair Ken for the 17th. I'm not the biggest fan of the Easter Egg Launcher. However, it is a really good launcher for ammo consumption as I believe it only uses one ammo per shot instead of the traditional three ammo per shot whenever it comes to rockets. So definitely something that can save you ammo if you're looking for an explosive type uh, you know, of weapon. So definitely keep your eyes out for this if you don't have it. For me personally, I already have all this stuff. Now, moving on from that, we have the bug fixes for this patch. The Nocturnal Explosion perk no longer deals more damage than intended environmental objects destroyed in your storm shield will no longer reappear and hero loadout icons properly match the selected hero in the preset menu so the nocturno was doing like 69 million damage you know previous patch and it was being you know absolutely insane the reason i didn't make a video on it is because i knew it was going to get patched i mean you can't have a weapon that one hits everything in the game i don't care how much money you pay for it i even bought this before i even was a save the world content creator really and so you know even i don't really mind this I mean, really, you shouldn't have a weapon that one hits everything. That's just ridiculous. So I'm very glad that they fixed it. Uh, environmental objects coming back in your storm shield. You know, this was something that would happen if you would leave and then, you know, come back to your SSD after the update. Um, and here are loadout icons, you know, pretty self-explanatory. Now, the last thing for the home base status support is actually the content update for next week. And that is going to be Bunny Brawler Luna. Now, this is a very good returning hero. This is the only returning hero that I'm actually excited about because she is really ridiculous for running dungeons if you watched my dungeon video last week which if you haven't you probably should this character is absolutely ridiculous and is actually the only hero i'm excited about whenever it comes to returning heroes definitely get this hero if you don't already have it as she is perfect for running dungeons and you can absolutely fly through them with ease using her in your commander slot now that's pretty much it for the home base status support the only other thing that i could mention is that fortnite is actually going to be extending the season uh this was actually something that was posted like yesterday but i figured i'd mention it in a video since i hadn't covered it yet uh they said hey all we're extending chapter 2 season 2 of fortnite uh beyond april 30th which was the original plan and they're extending it to june 4th and that is whenever the season 3 is actually going to launch um obviously before that you know or under that they say we have multiple game updates on the way to deliver fresh gameplay challenges bonus xp obviously they're talking about battle royale and not save the world but i figured that i'd mention it the new season is going to be dropping on june 4th what does this mean for save the world probably not too much we are in a pandemic after all and i was kind of expecting this now that's pretty much it for all of the news for today's video um yeah that's pretty much everything that we really need to go over there was really no leaks or anything like that that pretty much covers everything that is going on in this update um as for this channel and the videos that you can expect on this channel you know upcoming videos that is I'm not entirely sure. Um, I actually have been uploading a lot of videos to my second 
second channel, which is Demon Joe FR, and I'm probably going to continue doing so for this week and the next week, at least until we can get some substantial content. We got absolutely nothing new in terms of actual real content, uh, not even weapons, not even a new quest line, new hero or anything. So nothing necessarily new that I can cover aside from making stuff like top five lists, which I might make one or two here or there. Um, but yeah, so I guess for the remainder of the week, I'll probably be focusing my efforts towards my second channel as we wait on more content. However, as more news actually comes out, and if there is anything to talk about on the Save the World side, I would definitely have more videos on this channel. But I figured that I mentioned it because with quarantine going on, a lot of you guys are bored. Maybe if you guys want to, you can go on over to the second channel and subscribe for extra videos from me. Otherwise, definitely stay tuned for this channel as I will be covering any kind of news that comes out the very second that it does. But guys, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you all think down in the comments down below about this update and all the news that we covered. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time.